Hello everyone, welcome to the SQRT channel. In this video, we are going to take a problem from one of the previous Mass Olympiad. I heard that it's actually from Australian Mass Olympiad, but I couldn't find the source. In this problem, we have x plus 22 over y plus 290 over xy is equal to 26 minus y over x. We need to find x times y here. Before moving forward to talk about the solution, as usual, make sure that you pause the video to think about this problem and we will see you in about 15 seconds. Before moving forward to talk about the solution, make sure that you follow the two accounts that we have on Twitter. The first one is for mathematics and the second one is specifically designed for physics. I'm going to add those links in the description of this video. For Instagram, make sure that you follow the account that we have here. Now let's talk about the solutions. Now let's talk about the solution. In this problem, we have y, x, y, and x, and we have three fractions. Let's simplify the fractions a little bit first. We are going to multiply the whole fractions that we have by x, y. For the first one, we are going to have x, y times x plus 22 over y. Now, we can say that we are going to have x plus 22 times x here. For the second one, we are going to have just 290. And for the last one, we are going to have 26 minus y times y. Remember, we could multiply everything by x, y because x or y equals to 0 is not going to be answer for the equation that we are trying to solve here. Now let's move on and apply some more simplification. We are going to multiply everything by the terms that we have here. So for the first term, we are going to have x squared plus 22x. And then we are going to have minus y squared plus 26x. And then we have 290. If we arrange everything, you are going to see the equation that we have here. Now we have x squared and y squared. We also have 22x and negative 26y. The first thing that comes to mind is basically try to write everything based on power of 2 of a few terms here. I'm going to try that. To do this, obviously we have x squared and 22x we are going to need a constant like a to be able to do this. On the other hand, for the second term, we have y squared and negative 26y. Obviously, we are going to need another term like b to be able to write this as power of 2 of a term. Finally, we have 290 as a constant term and we need to subtract what we have for a and b here. Now we have x squared and 22x. Obviously, 2 times x times 
a constant is going to be 22. So here we are going to write it as x plus 11 to the power of 2. We are going to use the same approach and write y squared minus 26y plus the constant b as y minus 13 to the power of 2. At the end, we are going to have 290. We are going to need to subtract 11 to the power of 2 and also 13 to the power of 2. 11 to the power of 2 is going to be 121 and 13 to the power of 2 is going to be 169. If you subtract them from 290, you are going to end up with 0. So at the end, we have x plus 11 to the power of 2 plus y minus 13 to the power of 2 equals to 0. Now we have sum of two positive terms equals to 0. So the first term needs to be 0 and also the second term needs to be 0. And we have x equals to negative 11 and y equals to 13. So xy is going to be 13 times minus 11 or minus 143. Remember, we wanted to solve this equation in real numbers. So we found the answer that we wanted to find. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more puzzles, math involved activities, and problems from different math competitions and Olympiads, please subscribe to this channel. This is the SQRT channel. Hope to see you in the next video.